I'm Kirk Arberger and today we're on a property uh, located in Beulah, Central Victoria. And behind me we have four 1,500 tonne AGI sealed silos. So today I'll be running through a few features on the AGI silos that uh, explain a few more things in detail. So here we have a AGI unloader. It's a U-Trough design unloader. It's a PDO drive from the top end here. And what it does is it travels through, sits directly on top of the concrete underneath the false floor that we have inserted in this silo. It then takes its way through to the uh, center sump with intermediates that uh, are followed from the middle of the door through to the center sump. On top of the false floor, we have our sweep. Now that sweep is a mechanical drive. It's controlled external, so there's no getting inside the silo to engage the sweep. It's all done mechanical through this lever. There's no separate lines or cords that drive the sweep. It's all done through the one drive line, which makes it simple and effective. Our controls are all external as discussed before. So we have our center sump, which is just a simple winding mechanism. And we have our intermediates, which again is a simple winding mechanism. Now what makes this unloader uh, quite special or a point of difference from others is we actually have an emergency center sump which enables us to take grain out of the bin if the other sumps block up for some reason. It's a simple push-in mechanism which then allows us to continue to take grain out of the silo if there's any blockages internally. So what you see here is an AGI staircase. Um, it's a much better option than the conventional straight up and down ladder access, purely because it's more appealing for OH&S purposes. And one staircase can actually service two silos. It therefore becomes more cost effective to go the staircase if you're building two silos. While most of the componentry fitted to the AGI silo can be operated from the ground, such as your fumigation, lids, and vents, there are times where you do need to access the roof of the silo. It may be to check seals, maybe to lock down your lid when fumigating, or it may be to access the spout of the auger. So what we include to ensure that you are safe is a proper staircase that runs from the eave of the silo to the roof lid and a platform with rails around the lid. This ensures that you are stable and safe when working at these heights. It's always good and you should always wear a harness when you are working at these heights. So the important part of selecting the brand of silo you're wanting to build is to ensure that it is sealed. Now, obviously every bin that we build is sealed. A pressure test is performed uh, after the build in front of the customer to ensure it meets Australian standards. Not only is the sealing component important, but also the workmanship that is uh, undertaken throughout the build. We, we uh, really look for a high standard or require a high standard of our builds. Um, the product is gonna be here for a long time and it is a representation of the farm. So for us, we are quite strict on how we present our final build. This silo is fitted out with a full floor aeration system and as you can see, the floor sits up off on top of the slab, creating a cavity between the floor and the grain stack. What this allows is even airflow through the grain stack, not just a small section from the bottom working its way through the top. This system enables farmers to properly condition their grain. As we know, we store grain to condition and to maintain and preserve the quality of the grains inside the silo. Therefore, it is our belief at Harburger that a full floor aeration system gives an uneven amount of airflow through the entire stack of grain, not just a small section like a trench aeration system provides. We have two options of full floor aeration. We have canola, which is installed here with a 0.05 perforation versus cereal which is 0.094. Predominantly, most cereal growers 
that are just looking to condition their grain run with the canola floor. Corn growers, for example, that are looking to pull large amounts of moisture out of their stack tend to go with the larger perforation floor, which is what we class as the cereal floor.